Hi everyone, it's Melissa Simcox from By Mimi With Love. Hope everyone's doing pretty good on this Friday morning. Um, I'm doing good. I'm excited. I'm going to have my grandson this weekend. And that's always a treat. Um, I needed to get some things in the mail. So I came on today to share what I made for my swap with Cindy Connor. And guys, please, I want to ask you once again to go over to Cynthia's channel. Show her some crafty love. Definitely give her an, some encouragement. She's not a new crafter. She's a new YouTuber. And she really needs some encouragement. So she'll continue to share with us here on, on the YouTube crafting community. Which I love and has supported me so much. Anywho, let's get started. Now, the first thing that I've made, like I said in my previous video, Cindy and I agreed to make a tag flip. And here's what I have done for Cindy. I've got several little tassels here um, to start with. And one thing that I want you all to be aware of as I go through this project today and everything that I've made for Cindy, I have used so much of what I have received in Happy Mail, which is always so fun. I will point out what I what is from Happy Mail. But guys, all the little trinkets and stuff that you that you receive, it's so fun to have those. And it's surprising. Some things I've had forever, even years. And then all of a sudden I'm deemed that it's the best thing for whatever project. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys. Here is a little blue tassel. Um, then here we've got a gold tassel. And then I've put a, made her a little flower um, out of cloth. And then it's got the little mirror on the back with the heart. Uh, here I've got some washi tape. Sorry guys, I'm not showing it very well. Here I've got three little things of washi tape. Then, of course, I had to include a rosette from my new die. So here you've got the uh, medium-sized rosette. I've got one of the hearts from the Hobby Lobby All I did. And guys, through this whole tag book, you're going to see those little adorable ladybugs that I won in my uh, gift from... Gracie, so I just fell in love with those, and when I get something new like that, I cannot wait to use it, so I did, okay, then on the back of this tag is one of my, um, well, guys, if I can get it around, let me get some of this out of the way so I can actually start flipping my tags, um, here I've done one of my little Matilda dolls and colored her and put some little flowers and of course another ladybug. This is a wooden tag and it is definitely from my Happy Mail. I received this in a pocket letter. Now unfortunately I can't remember whose pocket letter but hopefully whoever made it is watching and will recognize it. Um, then this next tag, I've used one of my um, flower dies and created her this flower. And again, down here you can see there's that little ladybug peeping out. And you guys will recognize all of this paper from the, the Dollar Tree paper pads, which I love getting to use. And it looks so cute with the little ladybugs. Then on the back... You've got a hedgehog here, and this hedgehog, um, along with this shine and this paper ribbon here, all came to me in Happy Mail. And of course, there again is the little sweet ladybug. Then on this next tag, I've got a little blue flower here. This is a little pad of different colored paper that once again 
I received a nappy mail and I've got it in a little pocket here with more ladybugs. This, guys, um, this tag right here is a paint sample from Lowe's. And it, this is the same thing. I just glued them back to back. Another little flower. Then here, these little die cuts are from Happy Mail. These tags are from Happy Mail. And then this is a piece of my watercolored paper that I always save each piece. And once again, you've got the little pink ladybug. Then this next tag here, this um, flower right here was came to me from winning, I want to say Renee, uh, sent me this from Wanna Scrap. I've had it forever, for three or four years. There's a little yellow ladybug. But isn't that flower just beautiful? And I've just saved it for the right time. This tulip paper is, again, Dollar Tree paper. I put on a couple of little um, sequins. And then on the back of this one, I've got a little belt here. With a um, ribbon pull. And then I've got some thank you so much. And these little cards right here. Um, Angie from Valley Girl Crafting made and gifted me. And I just love them. They're so cute. Thank you so much. And then I've got her several little tags in there. And these all. I'm just going to pull them out. Because uh, the reason I want to show these is. All of them, this, the ticket, this little thing, so cute. Um, here's a, a mason jar, the thank you so much, another mason jar, a little pie, a teacup, and another mason jar. All of this I receive in pocket letters and happy mail. And, and that's that's fun. I mean, it it's just fun to share and fun to to reuse it and repurpose it. Then my next tag over here, uh, I've got two birds, and again, both of the little birds came from Happy Mail. The love word came from Happy Mail, and then there's another of the little cute ladybugs. Then on the back side of this, um, I made this flower. Here's the little, another little ladybug. This word cute came from Happy Mail. And this nice chipboard butterfly also came from Happy Mail. Then my next tag, guys, um, if y'all remember, I hauled the inks. Um, from Hobby Lobby, and this card, the background card or tag, it's very nice, very substantial, is from that packaging. I just love the colors on it. And then I've done a big flower, one of my big flowers. Up here is another one of the cute ladybugs. Over here, I've got ribbon tied on the side, and then on the back of this. You can really see the um, the packaging better on the back. Isn't that pretty? So I just turned it into a tag. Here is the word happy. This re I received in happy mail. Here's another little ladybug. And then here is a little flower I've built. And I've got a little charm hanging in the middle. I think that turned out so cute. But yeah, that made, guys, I always save and use my packaging. Packaging, especially for tags, is awesome because it's so much, you know, thicker and nicer chipboard. Then back here, I've got, once again, some, uh, oops, y'all are not seeing that. Let me get this. 
I've got this so chunky that it's a little difficult. Okay. Then here I've got um, these two little birdies, which came from Happy Mail. The three flowers I built out of um, a confetti mix that someone sent me in Happy Mail. The word hugs comes from Happy Mail. And then there's the other little ladybug. So you can see I've used so much of this has come from my Happy Mail stash. Then on the back here, oh, this thing is just in the way. Sorry, guys. I'm, I've got this light over here. Okay, that's better. Other than on the back of this tag, this little yellow flower came from Happy Mail. Then I've got one of my um, cards, and it looks like it is stuck. So I'll worry about that later. <laughs> Need to, yeah, you know sometimes you put the thing in before the glue is completely dry. I've used a corrugated um, green here to make the pocket and two more little ladybugs. And then here's my last tag. And this, um, uh oh, looks like I need to glue that one down too. Um, my last little tag. This sign came from this little sign right there. I'm doing terrible with this today, guys. Okay, this sign came from Happy Mail. Then there's my ladybug. On the back, I have layered this tag with faux leather. Faux leather. And I've left it flat and blank because I wanted the tag flip to be able to lay down without chunky. So, yeah, there it is. That is my little tag flip, which I think, and so much of, like, this ribbon came in Happy Mail, this little owl ribbon, um, this lace. So much of this came from Happy Mail, so... Really, really was happy with that. That is my tag flip. Now, of course, our swap, like I said, was about flowers. So I made her some flowers. And my handmade flowers are so delicate, guys. I really had a hard time trying to find something that would... Um, you know, hold them without squashing them uh, and getting them getting destroyed in shipping. So I used a townhouse cracker box and I cut out the little design in front to make my window. I've got a hair bow from Hobby, um, not Hobby, from Dollar Tree on there. Uh, my um, sister-in-law Angie Davis brought me that um, from Valley Girl Crafting and um, I just took the box and gessoed it and then after I gessoed I used some Jane Davenport paints and just cut up a like a business card and made it real jaggy jagged and then I scraped it through the paint to make the lines. But I think that turned out so pretty. And then inside, I've got the two bags of my flowers. Um, I'm not going to pour them out. I'll just show you guys. <laughs> because I've got them laid in there. I've got her that bag. And, guys, you know, I love these little treat bags. I've been wearing them out. And then in here is the, um, my carnation, which are very, very fragile and easy to squash. So, I thought, and so far, these haven't gotten squashed in there. So, I'm hoping this gets to her without you know, destroying the flowers. Plus, she can repurpose the box. Um, but I thought that turned out so cute.
And I'm hoping that it will, oops, um, keep the flowers straight in shipping. So I made her that. I'm such a mess today, guys. I've got so much to do. Um, then we will also, after the flowers and the um, tag flip, we were also supposed to do something crafter's choice. And what I chose to do was a mini journal. And I really hope Cindy likes this. I wanted her first swap to be really nice and, and personal. So here you see I've got a C on the front. This is faux leather that I've used to make the, um, the uh, cover. Um, here I've got a charm that I've made, and it's got a, this is a locket, it actually opens. And then I've done some bead work. And then this was a 1980s earring, believe it or not, guys. So I just reconstructed it, and I've got the little charm hanging here on the front. Then here I've got it um, stained closed. I, I used a ribbon closure. And you all may recognize this Janice um, from the purse collab we did. Um, had some of my um, goodies wrapped with this ribbon, which I just absolutely love. So I just reused it and added it to the to the journal for the closure and I love it because it's so messy and you see all the strings are just getting everywhere and I just love that and on the back I've just left it plain so then you open the journal and I've lined the inside with the Dollar Tree paper um, I used a piece of chipboard to make this triangle and then painted this so it would um, you know blend in with my tulips and hold on my ribbon more snug because just glued between the two pieces of paper or the faux leather and the paper um, the Dollar Tree paper is really thin so you do have to consider that when you're using it but with the fabric tack glue adhering it to the faux leather really worked good because it was thin as you can see, that turned out so pretty. Now, this first insert here, my first signature, is actually a book, uh, one of the little notebooks from the Dollar Tree. It says, challenges are what make life interesting, and overcoming them is what makes life meaningful. But when I did this, my leather was as big as it was, and the, the notebook was a little too big. So I cut the notebook down to size and cut the paper. And then I removed half of this paper because it was so thick. I wouldn't have been able to get another signature in. So I removed half of the paper from the notebook. And then it's just a little journal inside here. I've done a little flower and added another C for Cindy. And then I have made her a handmade bookmark which I just think turned out so pretty. I did this with the um, uh, collaging the paper napkin. And it just, look at that, guys. Isn't that so pretty? I just love it. And then I've got, I got this, um, the ribbon here. But there's her bookmark. And then that's her first signature. Which I thought that turned out really well. Then I just piggybacked. I abandoned this and piggybacked this signature in with it. And this signature I handmade, of course. Here's some beautiful more flowers for her to color. And then that's the back of that page. Here is some of my coffee dyed um, tracing paper. That I've done. Here is a, a page out of a Dollar Tree coloring book. 
and I've just got it folded so it's the whole thing butterfly. And then there's a bird on the other side. And here is a, a page out of an old bird field guide. Um, here is a, a piece of embossing that um, I've used for a side pocket and a little card in it. Make today great. Just a little tuck spot. Um, here's a piece of um, ledger paper for her to journal on. I did a little, but I didn't do too much. I wanted her to be able to do some. Again, here is some of the uh, new embossing folder paper that, and that just looks awesome right there. And it's another tuck spot. Here's the other part of that um, coffee dyed paper. I love the sunflower and bee paper. This is just designer paper. Then I've, I've made a little pocket here and I've added a little uh, Project Life card. Sometimes that thing you're looking for comes when you're not looking at all. And then over here I've made two little pockets. There's a llama. And then here's another pocket with a little vellum tag. Then here in the middle, there. this is the, the elastic band where I piggybacked it, but I have hidden the band where I sewed the signature together inside this pocket, and it's got a couple of little journaling cards in it, and then that's magnetized, and there's the back of it. Um, here's one of the Dollar Tree flowers that I've took all of the, the stuff off of and reused. I've got some little bling in the middle. I love the material that this is made out of these butterflies and then here I've just colored this tag with all the Dollar Tree um, glitter pins that I had I thought that turned out cute and stuck it in there here you will see that this is um, Happy Mail both of these little cards came from Happy Mail someone handmade those I love them and then I got the little teacups in Happy Mail as well, and I love those. There's the back of that designer paper. Uh, more of the Tracy coffee dyed paper. Here's more coffee dyed paper. Here's the other part of that field guide. The other piece of the coloring page. And then here I've got a little tuck spot with my um, stained and painted and coffee dyed paper for her to use for journaling. And then back here, I've made a pocket out of a piece of book paper. And I've got some metal on it that I've included. Some metal for her to use and some different little tags. But I love the way my pocket turned out. And I love the way this paper looks on the journal. But yeah, that's a, just a little personalized journal for Cindy. I hope she likes it. That was my little mystery craft gift that that I chose to make. So I thought it turned out pretty well. Um, and like I said, I, I loved using all the things that I've gotten from my Happy Mail and that kind of thing. And just like this, this bow here. Um, just so cute. I, I just love it. Um, I think it turned out really cute. I hope Cindy likes it anyway. So there's that. Then I also decided to make Cindy a Halloween gift package. And that is what this is, guys. And what I've done here is just use one of the Dollar Tree envelopes and I chose these colors because it's you know purple and the orange and yellow it looked really Halloween then here on the front I've got one of my bows I've made and I've attached some leather letters <laughs> for her to use and this says you put a spell on me once again this came from Happy Mail so I thought that turned out really cute then inside here, 
uh, and she can just remove this and, and reuse it. And then she's got the envelope. Then inside here, I've got her in a, a little assortment of treats. I've included some Halloween straws. And this tag was sent to me in Happy Mail. Isn't that adorable? So there's that. Next, I have made her some um, paper clips. Um, this little October 31st here. And I've used these little spiders and bats to make her some paper clips. And I thought those turned out so cute. I've got a little tool on them. And those are actually little spiders. And the, aren't those cute? So I hope she likes those. Then I've got her a little treat bag here. It's got some little um, Halloween goodies in it. I've got a little, um, I'll just pull out this little shaker that I made that I thought was so fun. See the little spiders in it? Isn't that cute? Oh, I just love it. So there's her little um, bag of we bag of Halloween treats. Um, I've got it full of all kinds of little treats. Then I have made her a set of my handmade bows. Um, there's nine bows, all the different colors, very Halloween looking. Hope she likes those. Excuse me, guys. I'm going to have to have a drink. Hold on just a Okay, guys. Sorry about that. All right. Next, I've got some gorgeous little Halloween tags. Did you guys see those? <laughs> Made her some Halloween tags. And then here is some... Halloween stickers, some little puffy stickers. And then I've made her some big bows. This tag right here also came to me in Happy Mail, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. There's the back of it. And it says Happy Halloween. There's three big bows. Uh, I've made her a set of ghosts. There are five little ghosts in there with the Google eyes. I have made her some gorgeous pumpkins. And there is six pumpkins in there. And then I have also included a Halloween card that I have made. Look at my vampire in the coffin. I just love that. I love it. Love it. So, yeah, guys, that's my little Halloween treat um, for her. I am I am sending her a card I don't have ready yet. I've still got to get it ready so y'all can see that when, when you watch her video. Which I hope everyone does. Let me get this all back in here. I just think the little envelope here turned out so cute. And it's just got packed full of Halloween goodness. I just think that turned out so sweet. And I hope Cindy really likes that. So that's her Halloween treat. And then the last thing that I've got for Cindy is a few little um, gifts. Just a couple things I'm gifting her. She did tell me, however, that her favorite color is green. So I thought it would be fun to send her one of the green envelopes. And I've just included um, some extra goodies I've gifted her. Here is uh, my notes paper pad folio. I thought that 
was really pretty. And it's green. I hope she likes that. Then here is a pack of shaker stickers. They're absolutely adorable. Then I've got our one of the Dollar Tree um, unicorn sticky note sets. And I've also gifted her the Kelly Creates. These are the stamp and write words from Kelly Creates. So, yeah. That is my swap with Cindy. Cindy, I hope you like everything. I know I absolutely went insane for what you sent me. And I hope you enjoy what I have sent you. And I hope that I have made your first swap as special as you have made your first swap for me. <laughs> Anywho, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you will, please go over and give Cindy some crafty love. She's a new channel. Let me mention also Valley Girl Crafting. Angie Davis from Valley Girl Crafting is a brand new channel. Guys, please go check these ladies out. They just started. They need encouragement to keep going. They've just got six or eight um, subbies. We need to let them know we want them to keep creating and sharing with us what they made. I will put both ladies in the description box below. And guys, thanks so much. Thank you so much for your support and love and the encouragement that I've gotten from my YouTube channel. I, I just enjoy this in, in my older age. Um, it, it's really, it's really given me uh, a lot to look forward to and get excited about at a time when there's just not a lot, a lot for me to be excited about in my life. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate everyone. God bless you all from Virginia, guys. We'll be seeing you. Everybody have a great weekend. Bye-bye.